Congratulations on choosing a Blanca Press. You've purchased a product of the highest quality, which will give you many years of trouble-free service, even in heavy usage situations. This video is to help you with some of the ironing techniques, and with a little practice, your ironing time should be less than half that of hand ironing. Choose a table or work surface of a comfortable height. On polished surfaces, use a protective cover. Place the blanker press on it, unlock the press and open, switch on power, and then select the temperature, just as you would an ordinary iron. It's a good idea to start with something simple, just to familiarise yourself with the press. The technique is fast and efficient, but here are the basics slowed down. For the best results, the ironing should be slightly damp, if necessary using the spray bottle provided. Then place the ironing on the board and close the press. The blanker press does the work for you, with a pressure five times the pressure of a hand iron. Always work by putting the laundry at the back of the press and bring it forward, ironing section by section until the garment is completed. Get used to moving your hands backwards and forwards to slide the ironing rather than up and down to avoid touching the heating shoe. To press a sheet or tablecloth, fold it into four and fold it on the board placing it to the back of the press so that you can then bring it forward, ironing it a section at a time and keep pressing section by section until you reach the end. You can usually press up to four layers of fabric at a time. For larger sheets and duvet covers, use the space under the board at the back for the folded sheet. Now let's have a look at a shirt. Start with the yoke either on the corner of the board or using the long pad. When you press a sleeve, make sure that the top of the sleeve follows the shape of the board. Then put the shirt to the back of the press, making sure that the collar is on the right hand side and leaving the sleeves you have ironed out of the way so they do not get creased. Bring the shirt towards you so that the row of buttons is at the front of the board with the collar at the right. Ironing a shirt is then easy. You just iron it panel by panel, sliding it from place to place, with both hands moving backwards and forwards, not up and down, to avoid touching the heating shoe. Where there's a shape or a pleat, make sure you iron up to the edge of the seam. Keep going until you reach the front opening, and then iron the tail if you want to, and press the collar flat as the last operation. Make sure that the collar only is on the board, and that you don't crease parts that you have already ironed. Blouses are easily pressed in the same way. Pressing trousers is a simple operation. You iron the top of the trousers around the top of the board as you would on an ironing board. Where there are pleats or pockets, slip the small pad underneath to avoid pressure marks, or fan out the fabric and finally finish off by ironing the leg either one half at a time, or, in the case of smaller trousers, the whole leg at once. Fold the finished leg back onto the table and repeat the process. Jeans and casual trousers are treated in the same manner, but if you don't want a crease, simply press them flat. Hard fabrics like denim need dampening and will need a longer closing time. On knitted garments, the fast press gives a superb finish even on older garments. Reduce the temperature and only use hand or part pressure. On acrylic and wool mixtures, use manufacturer's recommendations, as indicated on the garment care label, and avoid steam or high temperatures. Elastic tops, such as pyjamas or skirts, should be held in place whilst the press is closed. When you've finished ironing, make sure that the ironing board and foam underneath are completely dry, by ironing it several times before leaving it open to cool. Blanca presses are amazingly maintenance-free. You will get the best results for your clothes with regular replacements of the foam and the ironing board cover. The heating shoe should normally only need cleaning with a damp cloth, but for more extensive marks, use a heating shoe cleaning stick. These are available from most hardware stores. Hopefully this film has helped you get started, but do still take time to read the instruction book. You will find most ironing on a Blanca press is simplicity itself but it's worth learning the techniques we have shown you, particularly on the shirts, to get full benefit from your Blanca press. If you lose your contact details, visit our website on www4
fastpress.co.uk.